Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Today, we are going to start by creating a new 3D design. I'm going to call this Ruler Wizard because I'm going to show you some sweet tricks with the ruler. So first, I want to bring the ruler out and I'm going to set it right on one of those grid lines. Notice it is lined up exactly with one of those edges. I'm going to bring out the tube. I want to tell you, don't stretch the properties. That breaks these numbers. So I'm going to do Control Z. I'm going to tell you to type a radius. I'm going to say I'm going to use 30 and I'm going to use 2. And I'm going to make a fun face. I'll slide the sides over here. Now, friends, this is what's kind of cool. When you've got the ruler here, the first measurement is the size. The second is the distance. So it is 60 on a side. That makes sense because I've got the radius of 30. We can use this to line things up by doing some cool magic with the math. Now, if we do zero, it goes right to that edge. If we do negative 30, which is half of 60, bingo, it's in the center. This one was already close to center. See how it says negative 35? I'm going to do negative 30, and bam, that is exactly in the middle. I'm going to shrink it down, and I've got the start of a face, and I use the ruler to get it right to the middle of that spot. I'm going to make a fun eyeball with a sphere. I'm going to hold down shift and squeeze this so that it shrinks in every direction the same amount. And now I'm going to move this into location by just dragging it where I want. So I think that's a fantastic place for an eye. Now if we zoom in, it's telling me it's negative 17 this way. And it's a size of 8. And it's 6 above 0 this way. So those are all the measurements because of this. Now here comes the trick. If I do control D and I nudge this to the other side, well, I want to get those numbers to be the exact same, right? Look at this though. It goes nine plus the eight instead of the total of 17. Now, if you're doing math at all, nine plus eight is the same as 17, but watch this. If we click this ruler button, it switches to which side the ruler is on. See how now this is the nine plus eight? And if we go over here, now we have put the ruler measuring to this side, so we have our exact 17 we needed. So when you click this ruler, you always need to find the blue lines that show you the direction it is measuring. Now you can see the blue lines are going up and over here, so this is the back side of the ruler, hence the negative. If I click over here, this is the direction the ruler is actually measuring, so it shows us the 9 plus the 8. Click it again. Now it's measuring these two directions. Once again, it shows the 9 plus the 8. With this on the back side of the ruler, it's measuring to this edge, so we get that total negative 17. Real quickly, let me show you one more trick. I'm going to shift click these two. You can also switch your ruler to use the midpoints of the objects. So right here, I've got the midpoint of the two. And then also you can see I've got the midpoint of the entire shape. When we click so it's just one, you can see it's showing from the middle of that shape, it's 13. And from the middle of this shape, we had 10. So that's switching from the midpoint, watch these numbers change, to the end points. Here's another interesting thing you can do if you shift click. Notice now it shows me my total distance is 34. And of course, 17 is half of 34. Friends, I'm gonna wrap this up with a scribble smile. Remember, you can bring scribble out and bingo, make a smile and a derpy tongue. Hit done. And of course, get it as lined up as you want. I'm going to squeeze it. I'm going to make it smaller so it matches the face. I'm going to give it a color that matches the smile I want. And then, of course, if I want it lined up, I've got this ruler. And I'm going to type a number like 26 so it's even. So I can make sure I've got 13 on each side. So it would be all lined up. You can also change the height of it. See how right now it's negative 21. I'm going to make that negative 18. And bingo, it nudges up into place. 
friends a super fun little smiley face, but more importantly, learning that if you use R for ruler, you can click to switch the way it measures. How cool is that? Friends, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, ahlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of amazing categories. And then down below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and some Tinkercad essentials. Of course, I also want to remind you about the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, please also note there is a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a ton of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.